Hello, grade 10. Today is our subject in MAPI 10 in week 7. My name is Mr. Rinaldo B. Malimban. Our lesson for this uh, week 7 is all about the 28th and 21st century multi-music form. In the 19th century, the Philippine opera emerged in the Philippines when foreign performers, including the instrumental Bertus, as well as opera singers in the Spanish Sarzuela performers came to the country to perform for enthusiastic audience. Then the opera form of theatrical presentation in which the dramatic performance is set to music. In the Philippines, the musical play rely mostly on the adaptations from the novels, literary works, or biographical sketches of famous artists. In the opera in the Philippines, it is an art and music form in which singers and musicians perform a dramatic work combining the text called the Liberato in a musical score. It is accompanied by an orchestra or a small musical symbol. The dialogue is entirely sung and not spoken. Now let's proceed to the local theaters in the early Philippines. Just a sample of the opera of Nolimi Tangiri. Nolimi Tangiri is a drama based on 1887 novel by the national hero Jose Rizal. It's a timeless tale of romance, revenge, and issue on corruption and religious meddling and governance, colonial mentality, and mass struggle. The opera of presentation includes theater, acoustic, and sound system that both singers and orchestra were clearly heard with distortion. The set of design were brilliant with all the colors, the vibrant and vivid besides actual props in the backdrop was one of the use of video flat screen that display various scents rendered and digitally. The cast of performing artists and the resort world in Manila. Maria Clara as Herodias, Sisa as Mendezona, Cristomo Ibarra as Sai Malaki. Behind the scenes are direction of Predi Santos, stage culture design Jerry Sibat. Light designer Sax Sisoko, providing Jerry Sibal. Live music is the Manila Philharmonic Orchestra and the lead of Maestro Rudel Colminar. Next is the one of the famous opera in Mexico, just like. In a title, La Loba or A Female Wolf. It is a literary she wolf, and however, the La Loba, when capitalized, is the name of mythical woman from the Pueblo people. The myth has been popularized by Clarissa Pencola Estes and her book, Women Who Run with the Wolves. Next opera is El Pelobosterismo of the Reign of Greed of Jose Rizal. The El Pelobosterismo, also known as an English alternate, alternate title of the Reign of Greed, in the second novel written by the Filipino national hero Jose Rizal. 
is the sequel to the Nolimi Tangiri and like the first book was written in Spanish. It was published in 1891 in the Ghent of Belgium. El Pelobosterismo will bring to light the dark novel of national hero Jose Rizal under the direction of Juma Pierast. Also, El Pelbosterismo narrates the return of protagonists of Nolibi Tangeri by Crisistomo Ibarra under the guise of the wealthy jeweler named Don Simon. In the Pelbosterismo, Rizal first heard this word during the executions of Gumburza. At the time of Peles Bateristo referred to those who are provoking in the revolution against the foreign government and the dangerous patriot they reveal the subversive and the Simon as the Pelobostero. And these are the cast of El Pelobosterismo. The valid and theatrical presentation of the group and solo dancer to musical arrangement usually in costume with the scenic effects and conveying story. Another is Brahma Hari. A Brahma Hari is a musical presentation presented by the Bali Philippines at the CCP Main Theater. The lyrics of Rama Hari is translated by the national artist Rolando Tenio, liberated by Benedito Lovrest, and the national artist of literature, music by Ryan Kayabiab. The story of Ram Hari is set of Vitalia. And Rama, the son of King Darata, and his brother Laksmana are their way from the missions. Is a test for the sweeter when set by the king and Rama visited and the other sweeters and the claim of Sita for his bride. So the wedding of ceremony are filled with pomp and pageantry. Soon King Darata wants to pass his crown to Rama, his chosen son by his third wife. Akei wants her son Bahara to inherit the crown. She planned Rama and Sita be banished from the kingdom of 13 years. So in the woods of Pachabati, Rama and Sita were accompanied by brother Laksmana, their happy and dance celebration. Next of the opera, in the Filipino opera, Maquinto ni Lola Basyang. Ma Quinto ni Lola Basyang is a, a classes of a children's stories of Severino Reyes and set to dance in Tatlong Quinto ni Lola Basyang. Just like the example of Los Fernandes play in the iconic grandmother Stolly Tiller, her empathic voice and consonance of endearing familiar to Pinoy viewers. She has a wet and charm of dating grandmother who has passion into entertain the grandkids with stories that are filled with learning in values. Among the dance stories of Lola Basyang are Ang Labing Dalawang Masayang Prinsesa, Chipli by Makuha Ilasalda, Ang Palasyo ng Mga Duende. In the story of the heroine Yani was victimized by Indibus and shaming stepmother and stepsister. And the last is Anti Anting. This is the horror fantasy comedy Featuring the Juan, a cowardly hero who wants to overcome his fears to win and maiden his love. Next is Atang de la Rama. Atang de la Rama was a singer of Baudibil, perform who became the first Filipina actress. By the age of seven, she was already starring in Spanish sarsuelas. At the age of 15, she starred in the sarsuela Dalagang Bukid, where she became known for the singing in the song, Nabasag na Banga. Among the condiments she popularized were the Madaling Araw, Kung Iibig Ka, Ay Ay Kalisod, Pakiusap, 
and mucha ng pasig. At ang Dilarma fought for the dominance of the Kundiman, an important Philippine folk songs in the Sarsuela, which is a musical play that focuses on contemporary Filipino issues such as shuasari, cockfighting, and colonial mentality. Next, another in operas in the title, Floranti at Laura. Floranti at Laura, this is the history of Floranti Laura in the Kingdom of Albania. It is a story of a poem by Francisco Baltasar, which was adapted from the some historical features of paintings that tell of happened in early times in Greek Empire. The story was set to rhyme by one of the lighting of Tagalog verse by Francisco Balagtas. It is considered as one of the masterpieces in the Filipino or the Philippine literature. Balagtas wrote the effect during his imprisonment. Next is Cati de la Cruz. Who is Cati de la Cruz? Cati is the musical of Filipino language, biographical music based on the life of Cati de la Cruz, considered the queen of Philippine Baudibel in Just. The musical play was under Ryan Kayabyab and the lyrics by Jose Javier Reyes. Since February 13, 1907. And the last is Daragang Magayon. Daragang Magayon and Storia ni Mayon boast of a new twist, the use of multimedia, the story of how the volcano was burned. This is a presentation of Eden's Theater, the provincial government of Albay, Biko University, in cooperation with the Goodwill Bookstore in the Balit Philippines. Two or the country's famous artists collaborated on the Ragang Magayon. National artists for the territory of Virgilio S. Almario, Rayo Alma, penned by the poetry of new productions, while Gawa CCP for Arts Awardee Ramon P. Santos composed the music. The Ragang Mayon is the heroine that appears in the legend of Mount Mayon in the Albay Philippines. Her name means beautiful lady, Daraga or lady of maiden, Magayon, beautiful. In the certain days when the depths of volcano is covered by the clouds, all folks say Panginoon is kissing Magayon, and afterward, when rain trickles down to the gentle slopes of volcano, it means it was the tears of Panginoon crying over his lost love, Magayon. So thank you, kids. That's all for today. For more updates, please monitor our e-class online learning system. Thank you and goodbye. Again, my name is Rinaldo B. Malimban, your MAPI 10.